back there, and I'll take you for a walk tomorrow. So I thought I'd let you see what I'm, uh, where I'm staying. And it's really nice because of the trees. You have a good night. fire, my tree, and my tent, where I just ate and a little squirrely came up and had some of my bun when I was eating my hamburger. It was very persistent, so I think he's very people friendly. later. Bye. And right there is one of our endangered red cockaded woodpeckers. They are in the habitat here and you don't see them too much. It's the first time I've seen one. Really, really pretty, pretty colors on that bird. Zoom without too much movement. That's a good shot. Looks to be a male, I, I would assume. I know that the female has that much color. <coughs> That's quite a treat. Having just been here a couple hours, I've got my tent up. See the bird. later. you see a little bit of this little teeny beach here before I go and uh, hang on just a second hopefully I won't make this bounce around too much I'm real good at that very small beach but it is a pretty big river Comes all the way down out that way. So this was my steps down. I'll go back up to the trail. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, it's Brent again. I walked about a mile down the river and that's the way I came from. Seem to be some workers doing some stuff over there making some noise. But over this way I believe is where another river attaches to the Oklotney. As there's this island there. And then the river seems to go that way somewhere. I just thought this was a pretty spot. It'd be real nice and serene if there wasn't machinery running. So 
I guess that's it. I just wanted to show you the spot. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Brent again. I'm here at Oklahoma State River Park and I'm just about ready to head into the Pine Flatwood Trail. And so far, I'm not real impressed with much. There's a lot of pine trees and a lot of... I haven't seen any animals too much other than that bird and a couple real friendly squirrels. So uh, we'll see what we can see on this trail and we'll talk to you later. Bye. spot where they have a little seat to bench and I, I just thought it's a nice quiet spot. There's not a cloud in the sky today. It's really really nice here. All these tall grasses and the big flat um, long pine trees. I guess they used to like to use these pine trees in the 1700s for masts for their boats because they were so straight and I just thought I'd take a minute and here I'm gonna go head down that way to the uh, rest of the trail and I guess that's about it I just thought this was a nice spot and we'll talk to you later bye bye well hey everybody now I'm at what they call the reflection pond and I just thought this was a nice spot also. Uh, I'll try to not jerk around too much here. So we can see this little pond. I'll go over to, there's a little deck there. I'll go over to in a little bit. And I'm on the other side. I'm not sure where exactly this road goes that I'm on, but uh, I'll take that walk around a little bit and see what happens. Well, hey everybody, it's Brent again. I got back home from my my walk, my hike, and I came through and heard noise in my tent, and I had left a the screens opened on a couple places and I wondered how the hell the squirrel got in my tent. And he got in through a hole that he created right there. And I've only had this tent two times. He came right in there, went right back out. So I guess I've learned my lesson that friendly squirrels are not friendly. They just want to eat everything in your tent. He didn't get anything though. All right, so I may not be feeding him anymore because he was not a happy guy. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's Brent again. I'm going to go on another trail hike today, and I'm going to take like they call the scenic road. Uh, looks like it might be about three miles. Maybe I'll see some uh, white squirrels or fox squirrels or other little normal squirrels that broke into my tent yesterday and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi, it's Brent again. I had just seen this spot. This is the youth camp, I believe. 
and I went along the road that goes around the park boundaries and this is just a spot that I thought was nice and I'll probably head down to where those there's a dock down there I'll maybe get down further on the river and take some more pictures that's about it
No, I don't think it's a sap sucker. The one that's been pecking. Is that a sap sucker? Yeah, every day. Well, I don't know, the one that we heard pecking. Well, that one's got red on its head and red yeah. under here. Yeah, that's the yellow belly. Oh, I haven't seen one then. Yeah. And I always thought when they peck, they made vertical lines, but they don't. They go. Oh, yeah. Well, he just knocks way. stuff off. And yet, you can see all oh, the red is, spot. Yeah. I mean, he was over here a little while ago. Yeah. yeah, that's what he is. He's here every day. That's great. So I, I, I thought it was the other one, and I was like, oh, I was the excited. The cockaded? Yeah. We, we think we saw one way down the lane across. yesterday and today and uh, now it's beautiful uh, I think we're gonna have thunderstorms later so I'll probably be stuck in my tent again um, but I uh, just wanted to say hi and I got some good pictures of the white squirrely a little while ago he's actually gray but they're white and they're nice and and that's it for now okay we'll talk to you later bye bye